No, this is literally like you strap the motor on your back, they hook you up to what looks like a swing set, and you actually get to simulate what it's like to have this thing on the back and give it some throttle and feel it out um, before you actually go out and try to fly it. Well, what I'm gonna demonstrate first with Kyle is actually what the first flight will look like. And we're going to simulate the entire first flight on that motor sim over there. So we actually have a real motor, real harness, real everything that you'll be flying on the first flight. And it's actually strapped in over there. So you can experience what it, what it sounds like with me talking to you in the headset and you actually using those control inputs in your hand. We're gonna go through the entire first flight and we're gonna simulate the real thing. Awesome. So, yeah, Very cool. should be a lot of fun. We'll make a man out of you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> He's gonna make a man out of me. <laughs> enjoying it a bit. <laughs> I never dreamed how sensitive this would be, how hard, like, you could feel it in the simulator, it's just, yeah. Rawr, yeah. just throwing you back and forth. Yeah. I gotta imagine that'd be even worse in the air. So it's it's actually very similar. So you can feel the weight shift. Yeah. Did you feel that, that, that turning moment right there? Yeah. You can also feel the power reduction and the power inputs and what it's that, doing. That was crazy how touchy that was yeah. right there. And you're at the bottom of this, like, almost swing set, and it's the exact same sensation in the air. If you were to go from no power to full power, that wing is going to come back and then it's going to surge back forward again. So we get those same sensations yeah. in this motor sim right here. Overall, you did a really good job. If I had to grade that, I'd say it was like 80, 82%. Wow. So passing grade right there. <laughs> good job, man. B. <laughs> I, I think the things that you could work on, you stowed your brake up here yeah. and you kind of came off the throttle. So next time, before you stow your brake, think, I'm going to stow my brake, but I'm gonna keep this constant power setting in the whole time. Reach up, stow your brake, and your power setting didn't change the yeah, whole time. Buddy. The reason we want you to always get in the habit of stowing your brake, and this isn't meant to scare you, okay? Because we oftentimes say the sport is as safe as we make it. 
If you let go of your brakes, say it happens to blow back through that net, the best thing that could happen is this brake gets cut clean off. You'd still be able to steer, but it's not ideal because now you don't have any brake input. Worst case scenario, this brake line gets caught around the prop and it would get wrapped all the way to the hub and all of a sudden you have all this brake input and there's nothing that you or I can do for you in that situation. So it's very low probability, but it could be potentially catastrophic and it's something that we can prevent from happening to begin with just by stowing the brake on that magnet. You ready, Alex? Yeah, let's do it. You gotta, you gotta How do I look? You look fantastic. <laughs> Okay, let's turn the motor on and we'll do it live, okay? Okay. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Do it good. Once you add a touch of power, just a touch. Right there. Run to me. Power. Power. Keep running. Power. Keep running. And find your seat. Very good. I'm going to have you do one to the left. I want you to look left. Start you up, let it idle for a minute, just to get a feel for it. Right arm locked against the bin, which are full power, 1001 to 1008, and you're gonna release slowly. I cannot believe the amount of push. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. yeah. How's that? A little. Feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's surprisingly powerful. Like yeah. it takes like your full strength to hold yourself up. Wow. And this is just a 130. Dude, I thought, it, for a second, I thought you were actually taking off. Dude, it feels like you're gonna. You don't feel like something bending you over, you feel like something like your body's getting like lighter. Like you're gonna, yeah, shoot into the sky. Yeah, that was awesome. So that was, we did the, the motor sim. Yeah. Yep. And you guys gave us a run through of basically what it's gonna be like on our first flight. Everyone did great, too. I'm, I'm really pleased. So what do you guys got next for uh, us? Well, next, hopefully the winds die down. Mm -hmm. I really hopefully. hope they do, because you guys are ready for towing now. Right now, we have all the building blocks in place to put you up on the tow machine. Bring the tension up, move toward me, a little faster. Keep those hands back, a little faster, hands back, a little faster, hands back. And release the eggs. Touch left pressure, left pressure. Pressure both. Looking beautiful, my friend. Friends, I want to sincerely thank you for giving us the opportunity to experience flight in a whole new way. Getting the great opportunity to learn how to fly paramotors has truly been a life-changing experience. If you'd like to learn more about flying paramotors, there's a link down below that will get you more information.